a Catholic bishop told the truth. Uh, I don't know how else to say it. This is a really, really good thing. If you look at an article on faithinpubliclife.org, the article tells the story of Bishop Robert Lynch of St. Petersburg. This is really a good story. He's a moderate who has questioned religious leaders' denunciations of the Obama administration's contraception coverage requirements as part of the Affordable Care Act, and he's being super upfront about the reality of Catholics being pro-life. And he says, I am convinced that so many pro-life groups are not really pro-life, but merely anti-abortion. We heard nothing from the heavy hitters in the pro-life movement in the last week when Florida last night executed a man on death row for 34 years, having been diagnosed as a severe schizophrenic. Many priests go weary of continual calls to action for legislative support for abortion and contraception related issues, but nothing for immigration reform, food aid and capital punishment. And he goes on to say from time to time, I suspect when these organizations need money, they try to stir up a hornet's nest or storm by attacking a Catholic organization, usually falsely accusing them of being anti-life pro contraception, either pro or soft on abortion. This man is spot on. I could not better summarize the hypocrisy and calculated nature with which the Catholic Church, many not obviously not Robert Lynch, but many areas of the Catholic Church selectively pursue so called pro life values and ignore them altogether elsewhere. Now, just last week, I told you about Sister Simone Campbell, who asked Republican Congressman Reed Pibble, can the government help the poor? And Reed Pibble brushed it off and said, why can't the church handle it? And it was an example of a very, I don't want to say uh, a, a notable Catholic opportunity, but certainly it provided the possibility for positive publicity for the Catholic Church, something that is desperately needed right now. And Reed Pibble brushes it off and says, helping the poor, what are you talking about? The church should worry about that. It's refreshing to hear Robert Lynch stand up for the church's consistent life ethic. And even if I don't always agree with the consistent life ethic as applied to abortion, he's making the right point, which is if we're going to be pro-life, we have to be pro-life all the time. And that includes the death penalty in this case for a severely schizophrenic individual. And uh, that the, you've we need this. This is sorely needed. And uh, kudos to Bishop Robert Lynch. As full disclosure, I have no idea whether Robert Lynch has also been involved in any sexual uh, uh, abuse cover ups or anything like that. I, I, I do not know that. Uh, what I do know is that at least on this particular topic, he couldn't be more more uh, spot on with what's going on.